Hey guys, we're switching things up today and doing a digital painting. Actually, this painting is, uh, I'd say four or five months old. I made this when I first got my Huion tablet, which by the way is my absolute most favorite tablet in the world. It is my baby. When I got it, I did a lot of drawings like this. I didn't really share them with you guys, but yeah, I decided to dig up this old gem because I did record it and I think it would be fun to share more digital stuff with you. And I kind of feel this inspiration because I recently got an iPad with Procreate on it. So I'm gonna try that out and I would love to make videos with that. I have been playing with it and it's so fun, but I want to talk to you about something today and it is something that you can probably relate to if you're an artist, but if you're not an artist and you're an art friend, this is equally as important for you to hear. So my friend Lemia Crescent did a video a couple months ago about being the art friend and the struggle it is for artists. And that video really hit home with me because it was so relatable. And if you haven't seen it, I will link it below because you should watch the video. <laughs> but I kind of wanted to trail off of her video and do a video about respecting artists, how to go about it. And if you are an artist, you will probably feel some of these struggles. Now I'm gonna share my personal struggles with you and yeah, just, just keep in mind as I share these things, I am the kind of person that it is very hard for me to say no. And I find a lot of my art friends also have this struggle. So a lot of these issues are not really completely the art friend's fault, but it's equally the artist's fault if they have trouble saying no. And yeah. I know it is a flaw that I have. <laughs> it ends up hurting me a lot that I suck at saying no. But basically, I kind of just want to share how certain situations make artists feel. That's a good way to say it. All right, if you're friends with an artist and you like the art that they make, do you get free artwork? I feel like this is an assumption that a lot of art friends have, and it is a very like eggshelly subject. And I say this with a smiling face because you know, I'm not here to create tension. It's just like one of those things that naturally <laughs> create tension. And it is a very hard topic for artists to navigate because I think we spend a lot of time avoiding this topic. But for somebody who, like me, art is my full-time job, um, artists work a lot of hours. We have a lot of deadlines and our day isn't the typical nine to five day. Sometimes we have to stay up very late at night to meet deadlines and that can lead to a lot of burnout as it is, but it's always that like lingering fear of disappointment when a friend comes to you and they want something made, but they also like don't want to pay for it because then it's like that struggle, you know, like, well, I love my friend and I really would love to make them some artwork because I care about them, but at the same time, I suck at saying no, I don't want to disappoint them. I secretly feel like I'm being taken advantage of, but yeah, it's a hard situation. I also don't really have time because then it cuts into my work day and I have to not make money that day. And wow, paying bills just got a lot harder because I have to make free art for a lot of my friends. And if you're somebody like me, you get asked this question a lot. Maybe you don't, I don't know. Maybe I don't get asked this question a lot. I don't know. I feel like I get asked this question a lot. It's very hard though. I am, 
I'm a person who very much likes zero conflict and peace, harmony, those kinds of things, <laughs> positivity. So it is a very troubling thing when friends ask me for free art. Um, it usually stresses me out because I don't have time. So yeah, just keep that in mind if you do have a friend who's an artist. Or if you're an artist, also keep this in mind. Comment below how you deal with it. I think, yeah, it's a healthy thing to establish. Lately, I have been practicing saying no, and it's very hard. I don't like disappointing people. I'm a people pleaser. But I think it's good for my own mental health to take breaks and to set up boundaries. So, yeah. But on another note, if you are a friend, it is okay to ask an artist for stuff. Um, just make sure you know if your art friend takes commissions. And I would approach the question like, hey, do you take commissions? Rather than saying like, hey, I have a project for you and I'll pay you for it. Because then you're not like really giving the artist room to say no or a chance to say no. Um, if they don't have time or if the project doesn't interest them or something like that. So just wanted to throw that out there. But yeah, it's definitely respectful to ask if they accept commissions and then make sure they know what you want and stuff before you make them say yes or no. Because I've been in situations where friends have requested like off the wall stuff that I know nothing about. I'm not interested in drawing. It is, it is very hard to say no after you're like, oh yeah, I'll make you something. And then they're like, can you draw me this zombie from such and such video game and it's really gory or something. And I'm like, oh, uh, I'm not really into that sort of thing. And I draw a lot of happy plants and stuff. I don't know, not my cup of tea. <laughs> All right, another thing that I want to talk about is if you walk into an artist's house and they painted something that's like on their wall, um, that is probably something that gave them a lot of joy and they probably did that for themselves. And it is hard for artists to like keep their own art sometimes. Um, so, I mean, I have had friends walk into my house and like pretty much ask me to take a painting off my wall and like give it to them or sell it to them. And I don't know, that's an awkward situation. So I would, I would just avoid that. I don't know. That is my rant there. But yeah, it's very hard because I think as artists, we love our friends a lot and it is, it's very hard to please everybody as an artist, first of all, but um, you don't want to disappoint your friends and I think art friends always have good intentions. They don't mean to hurt artists or stress them out or make them feel guilty or whatever. It's, I think it's a lack of communication and I don't think anybody, you know, I think everybody has good intentions is what I'm saying. <laughs> but another thing I guess I want to say, and I believe this is the last point, like as an art friend, um, something that is super stressful for me is like when friends come up to me and they're like, oh, I have this really good idea in mind and I think you should draw it. It is such and such. You should paint this and you should draw that and you should do this. Um, that's, it's very stressful for me. It almost overwhelms me to the point where like, I have to like zone out because it, it stresses me out so much sometimes. <laughs> like, um, well, okay, I have a really long list of like, stuff that I plan to draw or paint in the future and I will probably never conquer my own list so when I get like unsolicited advice on like what I should actually be drawing from people it like uh, it stresses me out that's why sometimes I have to like tune out YouTube comments of that like if I don't ask and then people are like why are you drawing a fox like you should be doing this instead <laughs> I'm like uh no but yeah, those are pretty much the things that I wanted to say. 
I think it's good for both artists and friends of artists to just kind of know those things and be on the same page, but also know that like, I say this out of love <laughs> and yeah, it's just very hard for artists to navigate stuff. I have like some group chats with a couple art friends and this is like the reoccurring problem that gets vented about a lot. <laughs> it's just hard, but I hope you liked this digital drawing slash painting thing. And I will probably be doing more of these. I feel like this video might come off as negative and maybe a little more negative than my usual videos, but yeah, I don't know. I think sometimes it's important to establish boundaries in a respectful and loving way. So that's today's video topic. Um, the background, this is my favorite part. Let's just talk about this little sky thing. I I think it became my favorite part when I watched the video after I drew it. Because it was just so cool watching it come to life. And when I did it a couple months ago, I didn't really have a lot of like confidence with that background piece. And now that I look at it, it like... It makes me want cupcakes and ice cream and makes me want to go outside. So that's pretty much how I feel about that. Let me know your thoughts on this video topic. Are you the art friend or are you the artist? And how do you feel? Like, I wanna know more about how the art friends feel, how they view this too. Cause you're just as important. Like you are people's support system. <laughs> like. A lot of artists need friends to encourage them and stuff too, and you play a big role. So, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. I will see you soon in another video. Woohoo!